you operate a quick lube station, a gas station, a vehicle repair shop, or if you have a lot of traffic or trucks, you might be generating a lot of oil on your property. This oil needs to be removed by an oil water separator before the water discharges into streams, rivers, and marine waters. If you have an oil water separator on your facility, you are responsible for its inspection and maintenance. Inspecting and maintaining an oil water separator is about managing the oil. Oil is a toxic substance and needs to be handled with care. Be sure to wear gloves whenever handling oil or oily materials. We met with Pete Stark of the Whatcom Transportation Authority to find out how his technicians inspect and maintain their oil water separators. Well, the first thing our crew looks for when they uh, maintain our oil water separators is, is there oil in there, and if so, how much? And if there's oil in there, it came off of these seven acres somewhere. And we have control over the seven acres, so we have control over how much oil is in there. There should be very little to none. If there's oil in there, we want to know where it's coming from and being able to control that source. Containing the leaks and spills at the source is the cheapest and, and the fastest way to do it. And once it gets in the catch basin and into the storm drainage network uh, to the oil separator, it gets progressively harder to get it out of the system. Smaller amounts of oil accumulation can be removed using oil-only absorption packs in the inlet chamber. These help collect and remove oil and can be a fixed part of your system. Oil absorption packs are made of a, a plastic material that floats and repels water but will absorb oil. So they can be in a mixture of oil and water, leave the water behind and take the oil out. That's part of our preventative maintenance program is to have all the uh, oil water separators with uh, the absorbent packs in them and to check the sta status and condition of those packs. Have they moved around and clogged the lines or are they in the right place? Are the packs uh, soiled and full of oil or are they uh, still reasonably clean and good for more use? As it absorbs oil, it becomes heavier and floats lower in the water. They can also look at the physical uh, color of the pack. Is it looking oily and dirty or does it still look uh, white and reasonably clean? Once saturated with oil, the packs are removed. They should be disposed of with other oily waste. The absorbent packs are designed to deal with small amounts of oil that might get in there through incidental spills um, from somewhere in this yard. And ideally, there should be no more oil in there than the socks themselves can absorb. It needs to be less than an inch under any circumstances. We consider an inch to be quite a large amount of oil. And given that several square feet, that would represent several, several gallons of oil. That's enough oil we need to have a, a company come in and take the oil out. If you have oil accumulation over an inch thick on the surface of the water inside the oil water separator, it needs to be removed. Tank cleaning companies usually specialize in this type of work. They have the equipment to safely remove and dispose of the oils and toxins. We have a professional uh, tank and separator maintenance company under contract and we have them pre-cleared and pre-approved and they already have examined our waste stream and what was likely to be in there so they're available on call quickly to come in and service the separator for us. We also want to see what else is in the water. Uh, small items like uh, styrofoam, plastic bags, pieces of wood, other debris that will float will go through your system and end up in your oil water separator. So you need to get that material out of your oil water separator. Uh, another item to check for is, uh, is dirt building up in the oil water separator itself. If enough dirt builds up, the oil will bypass the separator. So the key uh, to a successful oil water separator is to keep the dirt out. You keep the dirt out by keeping the yard clean. Inspect the overall structure of the vault. Remove debris check for sediment buildup, and check for cracks in the concrete structure. Watch our video on inspecting and maintaining a control structure to learn more about how to make this inspection. Never enter the concrete vault. Professional contractors must have a special confined space certification. You might be tempted thinking it will be faster or cheaper, but it's not worth the risk. Also, inspect the discharge water. It should be clear without a visible oily sheen. If the discharge water is oily, your oil water separator needs to be cleaned and maintained more frequently.
There are different kinds of oil water separators. Some have baffles. These baffles slow the flow of water and allow the oil to rise to the surface where it can be easily removed. Some also contain a series of coalescing plates. These plates provide a surface area for the oil to adhere to. As part of your inspection, you should check the coalescing plates. Check for broken, deformed, or cracked plates. The plates may need to be cleaned or replaced by a professional recycler or tank cleaning service. One of the most important steps to keeping your oil water separator clean is limiting the oil entering the oil water separator in the first place. Regular sweeping of the pavement, controlling oil leaks at the source, cleaning spills using dry cleanup techniques, all prevent oil from reaching the oil water separator. But the key there is preparedness and having the guys trained. This is a maintenance yard with 150 pieces of equipment. It's reasonable to expect there may be a spill sometime. So what you can reasonably expect, you should be prepared for. So the further it gets in your storm drainage system, the more expensive it is to deal with it. And this is the last practical spot to catch the oil before it gets into the stormwater drainage network of the city and gets into Baker Creek. So our goal is to get it out uh, while it's still on the ground if we can, and better yet to prevent it or limit it in the first place. As you become familiar with your system, you'll notice how quickly your oil water separator fills and get an idea of your maintenance schedule. Facilities with more oil discharge may need daily maintenance. Other businesses may need only to inspect quarterly. Keeping records and photos of your inspections will help you determine a proper inspection and maintenance schedule and can protect you if legal questions arise regarding your responsibilities. One of the most important things is knowing your responsibilities. If you're not sure where your property lines are, get a map from your local jurisdiction. Know what is public and private. For more information, visit www.cob.org and search for Stormwater University.